lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and turn, and I would heal them. Therefore, let it be known to you that this salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles. They will listen. There are many ways God uses to get us where He wants us to go, but there's only one message He gives to save us from sin. Let me say that again. There are many ways God uses to get us where He wants us to go, but there's only one message He gives to save us from sin. One of the problems in our day is that we in our culture get the one and the many in that sentence reversed. And we tend to think, well, there's only one way that God can direct our lives, only, only one path that I need to walk down, and, and then everything will turn out right. And so we get concerned, perhaps, I've married the wrong person, taken the wrong job, went to the wrong school, moved into the wrong house, live in the wrong states. And now I'm out of the center of God's will. I'm no longer in the bullseye. I've, God's got one plan, and He's got one way for me to go, and I stepped out of that way. Or perhaps more seriously even, you could be sitting here this morning feeling, this is, this is not what I thought my life was going to be. I didn't think I was going to turn 40 and be here. I didn't think my kids would turn out like that. I, I would have thought I, I would have been married by now. I would have thought I would have had kids. I would have thought my my Kids would have been different. Why is my life like this? And perhaps you think God has forgotten you. Where's he, where he gone? Is he listening? And you wonder, how, how did my life turn out so differently than I had imagined? And, and I can't see for the life of me any kind of happy ending. I, I don't see how Romans 8.28 can possibly be true. How can this possibly be working together for my good? No, it's too far gone. And so we tend to think, if I am not in that one way, my plan lined up exactly with this mysterious will of God, then, then all is lost. And on the other hand, we make a mistake in the opposite direction when it comes to salvation. And we think, well, there's many ways for that. I mean, after all, it's, it's just about being sincere. Hypocrites, the hypocrites are bad. But if you're sincere, if you really, really believe it, it's okay even though if you really, really believe that you can fly, you'll really, really get hurt. But people say, as long as you're sincere, or if you're decent, if you're just a decent person, as long as we're good people, and what what do we mean by good people? Well, better than somebody. You know, just somebody out there who's worse than you. That's why you have some of the friends that you have. That's why some of the people may be friends with you. (laughs) As long as they're friends with you, they say, well, I'm not so bad. As long as there's kind of a, there's a Hitler, there's a Stalin, there's somebody like that in the world. If you're decent, if you're sincere, I mean, what you believe is not better than what I believe. What I believe can't be better than what you believe. We think there there must be many ways because we're so different and we have different personalities and different backgrounds and different ethnicities and different cultures and and some people really connect with God and in nature and some people really make their God beauty and for some people it's it's, uh, Allah and Muhammad is his prophet and for Other people, it's maybe Krishna, and other people, it's enlightenment, and someone else, it's science. Whatever works, many ways. And so we get this confused. We think there's just one way that God can really get me where He wants me to go, but there are many ways that I can get to heaven, when actually it's just the opposite. Too many of us are concerned about problems on earth right now, and we don't think much about whether we'll be in heaven someday later. Where we are in life worries us. Where we're going after death doesn't seem to bother us. You notice I stop just short of the end of this book. And next week, Lord willing, we'll get to the last two verses and they'll serve as a good wrap-up, a good summary of the whole book. But today I want to deal with these 28 verses by looking at these two points. There are many ways God uses to get us where He wants us to go, but there's only one message He gives to save us from sin. Those are our two points. So here's the first. There are many ways God uses to get us where He wants us to be. Now, the first 16 verses here form the conclusion to last week's dramatic story with the shipwreck. And you know, you remember they, they swam to this island, and now we realize this island is Malta. It's about uh, eight miles wide and 18 miles long, so it's bigger than 